Hey everybody, Ricky Adam Handicapping. Thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Friday evening, February the 3rd. This is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 tonight, folks. 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time. 8.3 furlongs. That's a mile and 70 yards on the dirt track. Four-year-old's enough race for an allowance purse of some 30 $5,000. Contenders number eight, Arlo. Number four, Last Empire. Number three, Sir Candidan. And number six, Great Investment. Number eight, Arlo, takes a class drop of four units this evening. He has hit the board in power run fashion each of his last four outings, including back to back power run wins in his last two adventures. Number four, Last Empire, shares the speed honors in this field with number three, Sir Cadadan, has hit the board in four of his last five starts, including a win in his fifth race back. Jockey Eric Rodriguez and trainer Dale Capano sent him to the post tonight. They've hit the board with 60% of more than 150 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 5 summary, number 8, Arlo, tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number 4, Last Empire, number 3, Sir Cadadan, and number 6, Great Investment, 8, 4, 3, 6 in the 5th from Penn Nat. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park in Ohio, race 5, the 4-1 to one shot, number 5, She's a Runaway Star, it's better speed sprinting at 6 furlongs on the dirt than the favorite, number 4, Alpha, Tammy. Charlestown tonight, race four, entry number eight, he's a prize, five to one on the morning line. The overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at tonight's distance is six and one half furlongs on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Friday night, Rick beat him for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.